Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Casual Comic Collector. Um, I've got another unwrapping and overview video for you today. Uh, and today we have the Incredible Hulk by Peter David Omnibus Volume 1. So, let's, uh, let's have a look inside. Oops. <laughs> Bumped into the camera there. So that's the uh, front cover, that's the spine, and that's the uh, back right there. So this includes uh, Incredible Hulk number 328, 331 to 368, Web of Spider-Man number 44, Fantastic Four number 320, and material from Marvel Comic Presents number 26 and number 45, and has a cover price of $125. Right, so let's, uh, let's focus the camera and let's take the dust jacket off. So that's a nice, quite a nice little wraparound cover by Todd McFarlane, who also obviously was involved in this, uh, in the, in, I guess in the early days of his, uh, I was probably one of his first, uh, uh, gigs in terms of comic book uh, art um, on this series. All right, let's have a quick look at the spine and the binding before we get started. So you've got Marvel's uh, sewn binding, looks pretty good. And when the book's on the table, it stays open very nicely without any gutter loss. And when you've got the front, the book stays open, pages aren't flipping over. And the same on the back. So, right, let's have a look inside. So this is the start of Peter David's uh, run on The Incredible Hulk, which I think in total ran for about 12 years and uh, in, the, in the 80s started in the 80s and I think by all accounts it is one of the best runs on on the Hulk I think probably second only to Stan Lee's original run um, this was I mean I, I never really read Hulk the Hulk when I was uh, when I was into comics when I was uh, first got into comics when I was younger um, and this started out kind of before my time, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think popular opinion is definitely that it's one of the better runs, if not one of the best runs. Um, and it definitely, you know, looking at the art definitely has a certain eighties feel to it. So it's a nice throwback to the eighties. Uh, and like I said, it involved, or it had, um, Todd McFarlane, as you can see, as one of the lead artists for uh, for some of that run. So it has a very, you know, if you like Todd McFarlane's early stuff, one of the iconic covers right there. Um, you'll definitely like this because it definitely has a feel. You know, looks like early or sort of Todd, Todd McFarlane's Spider Man as well. But I think, you know, aside from the sort of classic 80s art, I think the stories themselves are very well built. And I think they did a really good job, or at least Peter David did a good job on developing the character. Um, I mean, this is volume one. I know volume two will be coming out soon. Um, I'm not too sure how many volumes there will be. Um, I suppose I'm not too sure how many, how long it would take or how many books it would take to fill 12 years worth of, uh, of a comic uh, run. But yeah, I mean, it looks good. So should be fun to get into. 
if only for a bit of nostalgia. And then you get just a really small few pages at the end of extras. Some uh, variant covers. So that's the uh, that's the cover they went for in the DM the DM variant cover of this uh, omnibus. Sorry, that's the one taken from that to look like this. But yeah, I mean that's it. Just a short short overview of the book uh, and a short run through. Um, but that's it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned. I've got a couple more videos coming up soon. Um, but that's it for now. See you later.